Volume, 0%. Good afternoon, and welcome to More Than Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today, we will be doing a in-depth review of the Earthrise Grapple Mode, uh, except that it's Road Hauler because of uh, Speedia 500, and also the fact that Road Hauler is one of those Transformers that I've wanted for a long time, ever since I learned about Road Hauler, and then I always wanted some Combiner, you know, some, uh, some Devastator, uh, the uh, Constructicons, so that Road Hauler could be a team with them. And um, it's my hope that uh, very soon in the Hasbro world, they, they bring us a new Devastator that's actually in the new size category that they use. Because the old Devastator, like Hook here, is just a smidge too big. And, you know, everything about the old Devastator's uh, your robot modes are just... I never liked them. Um, like, I got it. I, I thought it was cool, but the plastic just doesn't feel right in my hands. The it, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit too too bulky in some places there's uh, it it's obvious like i really appreciate the new engineering that transformers does and i'm glad i started collecting transformers at the war for cybertron time because anything that i've come across from you know sets before war for cybertron i'm always questioning parts of them like you know even on hook here this wheel has got a weird dent in the middle of it that sticks up and this wheel does as well like why why do the wheels have that i guess it's so that over time, that little the, the little bit that, that sticks up can wear down and make the wheel flat? I don't know, but it's weird. I don't know why it even exists, but it does. And that, that that's just why. It's things like that that just kind of irritate me with the, with, with the uh, hook from the Combiner Wars Devastator mold. Um, his, his legs, they irritate me. His, uh, well, just about everything about him. He's just, it's just, ugh, it's, it's really annoying. And um, everything about the grapple mold is everything I want in the hook mold. So that's why I was like, oh, well, let's just do a nice comparison today of the road hauler with the hook since they're both green and purple. I hope it's green and purple. I really do. And I didn't accidentally I'm not play him with the, uh, the grapple mold right now. But I don't think I, I mean the grapple right now. I don't think I am though. I think this is hook. And uh, hook is really cool. Not hook, uh, road hauler. I'm getting the names confused. Look at that. So. Let's go in depth and talk about this. You know, this is what we do here on More Meets the Eye. We go in depth. We, we, we discuss it from a blind person's perspective. You know, it's uh, what, what I enjoy doing. And I hope that, uh, you know, discussing things from a blind person's perspective can help raise awareness for the blind through alternative means and methods. I love that word alternative. It's like, you know, transformers, alternators. And that's honestly why I chose it. That's the only reason I chose alternative, because it sounds like alternators and it's cool. Uh, let's get into this, um, well, this cool transformer and uh, talk about why it's so much better than the hook mold. Even though the hook mold can become part of a combiner, this, 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 this grapple mold is excellent and it doesn't get enough love, honestly. I still want the, uh, the heat wave or what is, what is his name? Um, cause I have the inferno and I have the grapple, but I, I need the other one, the ladder truck. I really want the ladder truck. It will complete my, uh, my grapple mold collection that we've got going on here. So let's go discuss uh, siege ports. You know, we haven't talked siege ports in a little while. I, I totally forgot to bring up siege ports on the vehicle mode. Don't worry. I'll make a little short video talking about them in, uh, in the upcoming future and we can discuss siege ports then. But this guy's got one siege port on his forearm and one siege port on his shoulder, and one siege port on his hand, and that's three on each arm. That's the normal three on each arm. Yay, he's got one on each side of his head. Uh, that's where these guns are connected. So that makes it um, eight so far. Yep, eight. And then on the end of his uh, little hook, his little um, hook thing, he's got a siege port so that makes it nine nine siege ports there are no siege ports hiding out underneath the crane part of his body so don't worry about that uh, so we're at nine nine is the magic number let's see we're going down further we got 10 and 11 on his upper legs and then down here on the bottom of his feet we've got 12 and 13 13 meaning that he has two more than the average and that's where these two on either side of his head come into play they are two more than the average from the war for cybertron line they've diminished the amount of siege ports they do nowadays in comparison but um yeah no um 
11 was the average, and uh, 13 is just slightly above average, which is really good. Usually it's it's 12, like they'll give it, give you a second port, but uh, they won't give you a third on the back. And this guy's got three on his back, which is really, really quite excellent for him. Let's put that gun back. I gave Holler more guns because, you know, it's, 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 it's Holler. You know, Grapple's got this thing about violence. He doesn't really like violence, but he's, he'll understand he can do violence. Inferno doesn't really like violence at all. He just wants to, you know, clean up the world and uh, save people's lives. Uh, so we got Holler, and Holler seems to be the, uh, the most ambitious of the Grapple molds, at least in character-wise, because, you know, he used to be part of the, uh, combat, uh, the, the Constructicons before they were turned by Megatron. So you know, he's got a vendetta against them. He's got a vendetta against Megatron, too. They took his family away from him. Literally, Megatron took his family. Uh, so that's the Siege Ports. Let's talk about the molding of this guy and uh, discuss how you know excellent this robot mold is. So we've got, well, we'll, we'll talk uh, articulation first. He's got excellent articulation. Um, he can move up. Uh, about, you know, I'd say 60 degrees his arm can move up, which is a little annoying that you can't get it higher than that, but that's because, I mean, if I move the gun out of the way, we get 90, we can pull a 90. Uh, if I put the gun back down, we can only pull about a 60. The elbow is a single joint elbow that pulls slightly more than a 90. The hand does not rotate, but it does kind of collapse in a bit. Um, that's all. The waist has... He's got a spinny joint in his waist, so he can spin. He has no, like, you know, ab crunch or anything like that. Uh, the hips, he's got, you know, normal motion in the hips, the normal hips that we see. It's also really, really nice and sturdy, they're, 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 which surprises me how, how, how tight these joints are, with this being the third, the fourth iteration of this mold. I'm, I, would, I was expecting some more mold degradation than I'm getting here. I'm just going to be straight with you guys. His knees pull all just a 90. They just pull a 90. But that's another nice stiff joint. You know, surprising. Surprise, surprise. Wow, you just come out with all the good joints here. And then we come down here to the foot, and we got the War for Cybertron toe tilt. Like, you know, a nice comparison is that this guy here has no uh, hook, has no toe. Wait, wait, hook does have toe tilt. That's interesting. Hook has toe tilt, which is not something commonly found in things before War for Cybertron. That's pretty cool. And now let's talk about some of the features that, well, we are still going over the figure. My bad. Let's talk molding now. So sculpt-wise, the head for Hook here, um, I don't think it's much different than the head, not Hook, uh, Road Hauler. Hook, how about you stand off here over to this side? Yeah, that's right, that's right. I keep thinking about you because you're just looming. Um, let's see. We got it. We got the... Is this Grapple? No, that's Inferno. We're going to put the Inferno away. Let's grab Grapple. Here's Grapple. Let's see. Grapple, Grapple, Grapple. Grapple's head is very loose in there. Wow, Grapple, your head is super loose. How's your head? Now, Road Hauler, your head is tight. It's tight. So let's do a nice comparison of the two. The Road Hauler has... They, I think they have the same head sculpt. It feels like the same head sculpt. It just, they may have been painted different. There may be a different uh, expression on the face, but they're the same head sculpt. Uh, though, for some reason, the grapple head is super, super loose. And, um, man, I hope this is the grapple. I think it's the grapple. Oh, you fell again. Um, so the grapple head is super, super loose. But uh, they do share a head between the two molds and uh let's continue Let me move the guns darn um i'm just gonna move the guns back let's see if i can pick that gun up where'd it go where'd it go where'd it go ah there it is all right cool uh directional hearing that's a great perk that uh, if you're visually impaired study your directional hearing it'll come in handy a lot um it helps you figure out where things landed on the floor because if you pay attention to, to the sounds they make, they'll tell you right where they landed. And, uh, yeah, let's talk about my favorite part of this action figure before we really get into too much more detail. Because I just keep tripping over myself talking about it. I like the crane hook aspect, okay? This thing can actually fold over and go over his head and then just kind of pull out. Look at that. 
uh, that's just really cool. And then you can stand here and actually, you know, it, it's a shame they didn't have some sort of wire gimmick to allow this uh, this thing to fall down and pick something up and then wrote, you know, wench back up. But the, the the fact that this this crane arm can be utilized in robot mode, I just I just love it, and I and I always love to share it. I think it's really super cool. Um, and I just remembered there's two seat ports I forgot to talk about because I just found this little bit. So we're going to fold the crane back up, rotate it around, and we're going to fold it back into his back. And then we're going to take from the side of the crane, his little, there's this little uh, hose apparatus that's plugged into the side of the crane here. You're just going to, you're just going to pull it out. You're just going to pull it out. Hey, hey now, come on, come on, come on now. Don't, don't you fight me. Thank you. All right. And we're going to talk about two siege ports I forgot. So this guy's actually got 14 siege ports because there's one under each hand whenever you rotate the hands into the body. And then you can clip on his hose nozzle. There you go. Now he's got a hose nozzle on his hand. I, I do like the fact that he can have a hose nozzle on his hand. I just, I think that's cool. Uh, so let's talk sculpt. All right. So the hose nozzle is actually really well sculpted. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that one first. You can you can put some uh, blast effects on the end of it, and uh, you can totally you feel it fill uh, funnel down into that tip. That that's really they they did a good job on sculpting this nozzle. That, that was really fun, and uh, the the arms feel decent. They feel like robot arms. They they've actually given them a little texture and uh, some some sci-fi elements inside. Maybe some some little spaces that have grills in them and things like that. I I, I like that. I like the little bitty things. You know, they, they, they make the figure feel less bland. Let me come up here to the upper arm area, and we've got these, uh, he's got these crazy spikes or these pillars that hang out on top of each of his shoulders, like he's pretending to be Ultra Magnus. He's just a baby Ultra Magnus, and because um, they're baby Ultra Magnus pauldrons. Um, sad enough, they don't have a siege port at the top or one of those thin rectangular ports that you can plug some effects into. That would have been neat to have those at the top of each of those uh, pylons, but oh well. And um, I'm going to come over here to the front of him. We got the front of the truck is his, uh, you know, center of his body and um, it, the core of him. And I, I do like that. I, I really do. You get that cool you know, look going on there with the window and the um, and all of the just just the detail on the front of this truck is, is quite excellent. And I hope they did a good job with the paint and they made it pop. And also right there on the side of the truck is a blast effect part so you can plug in a um, an explosion effect to be like he just got hit by something. And then you can make him go, oh, and bend backwards. He actually does a good job bending backwards like he just got hit. That is nice. Um, now we're going to go over here to his legs, the upper thighs area. We talked about that in my grapple mold, which was ages ago. But uh, the waist area, he doesn't have any sort of robot skirt going on. Um, but he does have some texturing going on there. And then there's these weird round things which feel like spare wheels that are on either side. But actually, I'm wondering if they're actually if they're supposed to not be the um the, the thing that holds the wire for the um the grapple arm there, the, the crane arm. When when he's transformed in truck mode, these are kind of in the center. And I'm wondering if this is supposed to be the ends of the boom that all that wire is attached to, and then they would spin. Because they're not wheels, that's for sure. And they're not painted like wheels. So I'm wondering if that's what they are. Your uh, perspective end told me they're not painted like wheels. Me and him had a conversation about this mold ages ago. Uh, going on down further, we've got a nice, you know, mix of robot and uh, and car parts down here at the bottom to make the foot and the lower leg. And it is just, it's excellent. I, I, I love the way this, the, the foot sculpts down into that. I mean, the lower leg sculpts down into the foot, even though they're completely different parts. They still come together quite nicely to create a look that is unbeatable, in my opinion. Um, now, let's do a little bit of a comparison between these two guys. We've talked about a lot with this dude. But uh, now, we'll talk about why I just I just like the grapple mold. And I hope, I really hope that next time they do the Devastator and stuff, they really look at this grapple mold, this road hauler here, and they, they take parts of him... To turn into hook because hook can easily be remolded from the grapple mold in, in my opinion I, i'm pretty sure that you know you're going to have it's not going to be point and click easy but it's going to be easier than coming up with something from scratch or creating this abomination like all right what's up with the hook on hook 
This hook arm sucks. You can't even pull it out. It's on one single hinge. It doesn't even rotate. And it's just it's just solid plastic. And there's even there's so much waffling going on under there. It, it's just it's nasty. I don't like it. As uh, you know, his his range of motion is less, but for some reason he's got better arms than uh, better elbows than grapple. The grapple mold, but at the same time, um, they're really thin and they, they look kind of stupid, which is which is a shame. You know, grapple's elbows here they don't look really thin. They're they're they're. Let me double check that. Are your elbows thin when you make them move? No, no. They 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 did a good job, like making sure there was stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, they did. Good job, good job, Hasbro team. Well, Transformer Squad, y'all did a good job on that grapple. And this this hook is just just an abomination. I don't even like it. his knees are all right. You know he's got hip joint, but but these hips are super loose. Look, look how loose that that leg is. That that is super loose. That's looseness right there. And yeah, I, I mean I like the the wheels all over the place, but it's just it's just it's just not right. This this thing is just off. This hook isn't isn't a good hook. It, it's a terrible hook, and it leads to a terrible devastator. And you know I, that's my my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I, the Combiner Wars Devastator is not a Devastator I enjoy. I, I like the Studio Series Devastator more, and I'm really hoping that they do a Devastator from the new type of... The, the, their new engineers, their new factory, everything since War for Cybertron has just been top-notch quality, and I've enjoyed it. Well, I shouldn't say everything. There have been some Transformers from this new stuff that I have, I have ripped into and, and called POS, but um, for the most part, I'd say... You know, 80% of the time, I'm coming across stuff that is, is just truly excellent. And, and this grapple mold is is no... You, you just get it. Okay, guys, I, I do recommend this mold. If you get the original Earthrise grapple, please, before messing with it, go check out my original video on the Earthrise grapple where I teach you how to make sure you're not going to break your grapple because I do teach you how to sand down some, some bits. And, you know, isn't it fun learning how to sand from a blind person? Trust me. You know, we know how to sand things. And uh, I think I've talked to you guys long enough. Uh, if you like this, please, you know, like and share and subscribe below. Comment if you want to comment and tell me, you know, what is your favorite mold from the new War for Cybertron series that you can compare to something old and go, this is definitely better. What is that to you? You know, in your opinion, what is it? Because I can tell you right now, is this grapple mold is is just, just ages better than this hook mold. That's for sure. Crane truck versus crane truck robot? And grapple wins every day of the week. Thanks for watching. Please tune in next Friday.